Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got a 2019 Kona 2-liter uh, customer complaint check engine light. So technician already got the diagnosis on this one since it's just a four-cylinder. Um, he got a code for a P0017. It's a crankshaft, camshaft correlation code as you can see in our um, scan tool. So, since it's a four-cylinder, uh, it's pretty easy to just verify if our timing marks are correct or not because we can just remove the valve cover and check it through there, right? So, in this video, we're just going to be showing, I'm just going to be showing what other ways we can check our timing, especially if we're dealing with a V6 engine because you don't want to remove the intake and just to remove the valve cover to inspect the timing, right? So, um, we're going to go to the data first and see before we go further, right? Let's say if we're going to get this code first time. So, you're going to go to your data first. Verify if our set point and the actual reading for the camshaft is really off. So, I'm just loading this. Okay, so we're going to go to our camshaft. Where is that guy? So we got inlet, bank one, set point, and then set point. And we can see here on our reading, our intake side, um, it matches, right? 128, 128. I'm just at idle. But on our exhaust, it's off by four degrees by this reading, up, uh, on this reading, on this uh, scan tool. So, I was there when they checked the timing system um, by removing the valve cover and it was not lined up correctly in the camshaft, right? And so, it points out as per our code, P0017, that's on the camshaft crank correlation on exhaust side. So, we can see here that the exhaust side is off. So, I hook up our scope. So, I just put our... Um, crank signal, intake cam signal, and uh, exhaust cam signal. Beware on this, especially on the wiring diagram, because when I hook up my <laughs> leads, especially on the cam side, um, I was not reading at all on our scope. I was reading ground. But on our wiring diagram, it's showing that pin number two, it should be a signal wire, right? So. I'm going to show you guys here. Okay, let me just turn off this vehicle. So, in order to, you know, use your scope, you need a wiring diagram so, so that you can see which wire, right? Or you can just start poking it and see what signal will to show on your scope. So anyway, here's our crankshaft um, wiring diagram. Our blue wire that's our signal right we go to our cam so this is our intake it says our camshaft position sensor one as you can see there pin number two black wire that's it says signal right and pin number three is ground that's our wiring diagram that's OEM wiring diagram um, same thing on our exhaust cam Pin number two is our signal. Pin number three is our ground, right? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let's go to the engine bay, show you guys my connection. And now, since first my connection was I put in pin number two, I was reading ground. I'm gonna show you that I use pin number three because this interchange, this is a wrong wiring diagram, but you have to be careful. And also, be careful with your leads, because when I had my Autel um, scope, um, the leads and that, that came with the scope was shorted. So, um, when I, especially when I ch uh, check on an Elantra uh, vehicle, I poke on the pin number two, a back profit, but that was a ground uh, signal, and it shorted the whole thing. <laughs> so um, 
so make sure you know your leads especially on the auto scope the leads on that one is not good so if you have those scope uh, mp408 auto scope make sure you upgrade that leads right um, so let's go to the engine bay and let's i'll show you guys uh, my connection there so here's my connection our blue wire there that's our crank red is going to be our cam and green our exhaust cam shop sensor so as you can see there our leads is on the number three instead of the number two same thing on our exhaust side um ground connection is on our battery so let's go back inside the car and let's check it our waveform okay so um let's check our waveform here let me just stop this let's do an ignition on first so that you guys can see So stop, I I put our um, voltages, so you can just, you know, um, play around with the voltages until you get the good, you know, um, path. So anyway, let's do ignition on. As you can see there, our voltages went up, except on a red one. So let's start this. Okay, there you go. Okay, so that's our signal right now. And the important thing on this one too is to have a good known pattern so you can get that through service information um, and also if you have multiple cars that has no issue you can try to um, compare the pattern in there so i'm gonna pull up one of my good patterns because i saved some patterns here and let's compare this these two with a good known and uh, this vehicle itself right Okay, so I pull up our, on my right, as you follow my mouse, um, this is my good known. Uh, this one, this pattern is, came from Elantra, 27 to 2020, and this Kona is 2019. They share the same engine, so this should be the same. So we're going to analyze first. I'm going to put some cursors here. Our blue one, that's our crank signal, right? Oops. Happen. Let me move this. Okay. So one indentation there, and the other one will be, and the other one. So that's full revolution, right? The red one on our corner side. That's our intake, and the red, uh, the green one is our exhaust. So that's our concern timing. Let's go to our Elantra, same thing. I'm gonna put some cursors here. There, that's full revolution. Same thing, red one is our cam intake, blue is our crank signal, and green is our exhaust. So first let's compare our red. So. Basically, just compare the signals, right? Um, so by that is, I'm going to start from here. How many teeth is that? We're going to line it up. So from there, the first, um, first signal that goes down, that's from that, from that um, mark in our crank, so I guess 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that's 18. And let's go to our Kona, which is the issue vehicle. That's 18. So same thing. First down there in our, in our um, signal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. But as you can see there, like the first down, it's slightly moved to the side, but that's not too big deal. But compared to our good known, right, it lines up on that um, signal on our, let's go, a trigger wheel, right? So now let's go back to our good known for our exhaust side. So same thing, we're going to measure the first down of the signal. 
because you can always you know choose whatever <laughs> um, signal that you want to choose to count but let's go here in the first one so on this one this is a good known so that's almost there so let's remove this so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 and almost there going down on the uh, trigger wheel. 9. And let's go here on our exhaust bad or not bad, like a concerned vehicle, right? Uh, I can see it already, right? If I'm just gonna move this green pattern here, let's let's move this a little bit so that it will go up to our crank. Okay. So as you can see there, I'm gonna count start one, two, three, four. So that's four, right? Compared to our our good known one two three four five six seven eight nine so that's totally off compared to the good known pattern and our problem vehicle and make sure when you're comparing it right you have to compare it with the same pattern in our exhaust and as you can see here in our exhaust we got um, a little bit big big smaller and smallest signal on our um, cam signal let's go to our good known make sure you reference that same um, signals right we got big bigger or big signal or big pattern a uh, little bit small and the smallest signal here so at least your consistent on your comparison between the two because all we're doing right now is just comparing the signal on a good known and a problem vehicle so there you go guys um, we verified it first on our we verified first in our timing by physically removing the valve cover and checking the marks there and that's totally out there it's not really out out but it's just like the the marks there is just slightly off it's not like horizontal line up it's like a little bit off so now in this video we're using a scope just in case you know you have an issue uh you have a v6 vehicle right or an engine that's very tricky to um to remove just to check the, the marks to confirm it's if it's uh, out of time or not right so at least in this in this scenario like the time that we invest to just check the base timing is just quick and if it's not the timing and we can move on to something else right it's not like you know we're gonna be guessing oh it's out of timing because of this this and at least in this in this um in this testing that we did using the scope uh, we're definitely sure that it's out of time the base timing is out of time because we're just at idle the cvvt are not moving at all so it's not a cvvt issue and most of the time that that code correlation most of the time it's like a jump timing out of time right because if it's a cvvt issue in my experience working in these vehicles it's most of the time that it's like um to advance those codes so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed that um there's other ways to check the timing marks especially dealing with the time timing system related codes right so let me know what you guys think and thanks again for watching see you next time